Well, we challenge you to find any family household in the state that isn't challenged by screen time in their home. Headline after headline warns about the effects of that on kids. It's a huge problem for a local nonprofit trying to find a healthy screen time balance. It is now crunch time because in order to help grow and reach more kids, they need a hearing at the state capitol by a deadline, which is this coming Friday. Fox 9's Leah Bino has more now on this quest for digital wellness, especially among young people. We love answering the snap. Ninth graders Emily, Layla, and Alice are aware they are part of a generation that has grown up with digital devices at their fingertips. In their words, for every pro, there's a con. I don't realize how long I'm on my phone until like I check the time and it's like, oh, it's like 2 a.m. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, oh, it's well. Like, it, it should not be that addicting, but obviously our phones are kind of like an addiction. So this is bad. <laughs> Recently, Hopkins North Junior High took part in a discussion led by the Minnesota-based nonprofit Live More, Screen Less. Conversations aim to use peer-to-peer -peer settings to help make young people more aware of how much time they might be spending on social media, online video games, various screen-driven outlets, and when it becomes unhealthy. This is a part of their reality. This generation has, they had a cell phone or an iPad put into their hands when they were in the grocery cart at age two. That's when the cell phone became available and so it's not going away. And so trying to navigate and find a balance, uh, we believe is the number one way to combat this addiction. Assistant Principal Hinda Abdi has seen the ripple effect from too much phone time, ranging from struggles with mental health to academics. That's why school nurse Ann Salzer wrote the grant to get Live More Screen Less into their school. So they're coming in um, upset. They're coming in, uh, you know, with depression, anxiety, and other mental health concerns be because of social media and in light of, you know, too much screen time and screen use. Our goal is to make real life connections and give the why. Like kids understand and, and interact and proceed to do things when you give them the why. In 2021, Minnesota lawmakers became the first state in the country to designate state dollars towards digital wellness. So our organization is not anti-technology. What we are about is balanced, intentional, and effective use of technology. The founders of Live More Screen Less say the results are a foundation of online resources for families, network of organizations, teacher training, and peer-to-peer -peer training like we saw in Hopkins. Pre-2020, we were struggling with managing devices, and now it's just exponentially greater. Now they have a bill at the Capitol aiming to expand programs to as many Minnesota students and school districts as possible. They have bipartisan support. But what they don't have is a hearing to advance the bill. They have done an incredible service to our state, and we just need to grow what you're already doing. I believe in this investment um, because we're educating educators. We're empowering students to be leaders within their own communities. And as much as students we talk to don't like giving up the phones, even they agree this is a subject everyone can learn from. If we stop the amount of time that we have on our phones now and like social media and all that, then maybe we can make it better for the generations coming after us. Leah Bino, Fox 9. If you'd like to learn more about Live More, Screen Less, and explore their resources, we've put a link on our website, fox9.com.